everyone, Daniel O'Grady here and welcome to another Wasabi Cars video. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, today's car is extra super special. It's come out of the blue. Bam! Like a punch in the head from a place that you were not expecting a punch from. It's kind of like that. Um, anyway, I'm really, I'm very surprised to be showing it for a couple of different reasons. One reason is uh, I'm so behind in my videos that I thought it would take me several years to get to it, but I've bumped it up the queue. The second reason is uh, not the biggest fan of the R33 in general. Uh, I find the shape of the GTRs well, they're yet to grow on me. Let's put it that way. But um, this one is an absolutely beautiful example of a four-door. GTR, yeah, it is a GTR spec. Sorry, um, let me just check my notes here. Skyline GTR Ortec version 40th anniversary. Now, this was released by Ortec in October 1997 and officially launched in January 1998. They produced 442 of these, and uh, there were two police departments or two, sorry, prefectural offices that. Um, got two cars each for their uh, highway patrol or undercover cop cars so that would have been pretty fun I reckon as you can see this one has still got its uh, original R33 GTR wheels which I'm liking a lot that color uh, pretty common color now I believe they did come in several colors but I've only seen examples in this color did I mention color several times I think I did and uh, the ride height looks a little bit high, which I'm liking. I guess that's uh, the standard, the standard ride height, so that's good. Now let's check out the back. Pretty sporty looking, you know, the iconic four round tail lights of the Skyline. Uh, the badge there, Skyline 40th Anniversary, the GTR badge, of course, and uh, a very very nice uh, eye, eye level brake light in the boot lid there. Uh, we've got a rear windscreen wiper. All very high-tech, really nice. Now, of course, you can see the, the rear guards are really, really pumped out. That is great. I like that a lot. I mean, you know what? Out of the two-door and the four-door regular cars, I actually prefer the four-door. And that these ones are pumped out, I'm really liking a lot. And uh, let's get around to the front. And as you'd expect, it is uh, an R33. It's got the, the front bumper and the air dam. Uh, all that's going on. There's quite a few extra lights there, as you can see. Um, yeah, whatever. Uh, it looks to be like, you know, it's been affected by the weather a little bit. It's, um, yeah, it looks a little bit sun faded, sun bleached. That's a bit unfortunate, but um, also the headlights seem to be a bit foggy, but, um, you know, I'm really nitpicking. It's fantastic. And, you know, only 442 were produced, so. Uh, it's just awesome that there is this car. And I saw it in Oita. There was a car show going on. It was a great day all around. But as I was leaving, I saw this. And I tell you what, I was pretty darn surprised. I couldn't get my camera out quick enough. Unbelievable. Okay, and this is not question of the day, so don't turn off yet. But I was walking to my local 7-Eleven. There was one of these, not the same one, one of these in the car park months ago right and I said spoke to the owner hey that's a cool car you got there left of that and uh, then two weeks ago I saw him again I was coming back actually and I, I saw him and he drove past to the convenience store and then I ran back here wrote a note uh, in Japanese my name email address also included a wasabi car sticker put it in an envelope ran back puffing away ah, ah good morning how was mas you uh, know Please look upon me favorably. Handed him the stuff. I said I've got a, a YouTube channel. And it, <laughs> politely he took it and then he didn't contact me. I was crushed. I mean, I would love to be able to show you the engine of this car, but uh, so I've had two spottings of this car. No interior, no under bonnet. So, yeah, a bit unfortunate, but uh, I will get it one day. I promise. So, question of the day is uh, your your story of rejection. I just told you my story of rejection. He didn't contact me, so uh, I got turned down. Anyway, I'm a, I was a bit distraught actually. But please tell me yours in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you haven't got a sticker yet, grab a sticker. I've also got Wasabi Cars t-shirts. Let's not forget about those. I will be wearing them in the very near future because it's coming into summer here in Japan. Thank you very much, everyone. Take it easy. Goodbye. With a little bit of rust and a little bit of dirt on Wasabi Cows and a little bit of Wasabi.